question is, can we do anything early in life that would shift the odds for children? Do we have any evidence that what we do works? We do. After years of accumulated research, the science on brain development is clear. To create the largest change, all signs point back to the child's earliest years. So we know from the neuroscience literature, from the literature on intervention with early childhood education, that if you, you provide an at-risk family, a poverty family, with the kind of tools and environment that middle and upper middle class families have, you can have a high return. So the question is, so we know that in the research, we know the brain development starts right at the beginning and it's critical to provide this environment as early as you can. What sort of real world policy could make this happen? Not just for a small group of kids, but something you could replicate and bring to scale. Many of these studies have now been subjected to economic analyses. The Nobel Prize winning economists have come in and looked at what the costs of those programs and then what happens. Economists like Art Rolnick have found that model programs offer a return between seven to $16 for every $1 invested depending on the program. And early childhood intervention programs are less expensive and more effective than addressing learning problems later in elementary and high school. The good programs cost a lot because you need well-trained people, good curriculum and so on. But if you follow the kids up, you are able to look at, well, what did it save us in terms of special education, which is expensive? What did it save us in terms of the kids dropping out of school and, and making less money and so paying less taxes? What did it cost us in terms of, of crime and incarceration? Infants provided with proper nutrition and nurture grow into self-sufficient adults. Those adults, in turn, are far more likely to become successful parents who can provide for their families, engage their children in serve and return, and foster an environment free of toxic stress. Early childhood education doesn't just benefit that child. So there's a community benefit for all our kids who are in a better education environment and for society with much lower crime and much more successful workers. It's a challenge during these difficult economic times to look several generations ahead. However, it's over the long haul that early childhood programs accrue benefits. They're cost effective. We recoup that cost over many, many years, which is one of the challenges always. We are an immediate gratification society, but they're cost effective and they tell us over and over, you either pay now or you're gonna pay more later.